Hey, what's up everybody? Lawler here. Going to be playing some threes. Ranked threes. We still have yet to climb at all or play them at all. I'm going to try to give you guys some insight in regards to ways to improve your rank. Uh, part of that is having teammates that play. He didn't go for it. This put me doomed for failure. So we're going to talk through... I always try to uh, do replay analysis for you guys where I talk through your guys' gameplay, but... I think I can also encourage you guys how to do this with your own gameplay. So there's certain things that you can do while you are playing to help yourself from tilting as well as something that we teach a lot, which is focus on the ability to get better rather than on the intent of winning. So that is a mentality we're going to keep in mind as we run through these games and hopefully uh, we actually win some, yeah? But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the general plan for today's video is we are going to, rather than doing replay analysis on you guys, we are actually going to analyze our own gameplay. Something that this, this is something that you guys don't really need any help or any setup doing. It's more so just a matter of recognizing what you think the decisions that are being made are to be not everybody has the ability to recognize the things that they're playing poorly in or the things that they need to do to play better so hopefully this will give you kind of a general idea of the things that i focus on based upon trying to improve my own gameplay and the decisions that i make to make sure we can hopefully get some wins and actually uh rank up so the first thing first is making sure that you recognize the opponents as well as your own teammates as you are obviously and in most circumstances solo queuing so i personally look to find out first things first if i'm queuing standard okay i've got a duo these two normally play together so i genuinely will play a little bit more passive because i feel like these guys want to play together and they can communicate with each other so i will not uh, go as heavy as a chase unless i personally need to uh to get oh my gosh we got so lucky there because of that ow oh god what is he doing? Okay. Well, all right. I'm. I have no idea what's going on. I tried to pass it. That was bad on mine. I should hit it way later. Yeah. So when there's a duo, I usually let them kind of do their own thing, and I try to support it, just because usually they work a little bit better together. Um, but that whole situation completely caught me off guard. That was super awkward. Uh, other things, obviously, just kind of be patient most people in ranked will make mistakes so you don't need to force everything and trying to recognize when those things are happening so kind of staying behind watching this guy seeing what he's doing he's out of the play i shouldn't have gone for that there's two people committed to the same spot give him space so he hits it he just whiffs set this up for my teammate off backboard see if he's there could have played it a little bit higher. Rotate away from where the play is developing and head back onto defense. Pinches over to me, let it hit a wall. Try to control it a little bit. We both whiff, not a big deal. Teammates got it. When given space like that, there's kind of two ways you can approach it. You can either go for the solo play, which is going to give you position or possession and allow your, uh, your teammates to help. Oh, I actually got bumped up. No. But by going for the solo play, it keeps it in your own possession. Also forces someone on their side to uh, to challenge, which at least draws out a defender. The other way is you can kind of just boom it. It alleviates any pressure that's on you guys. But at the same time, you're giving up possession for that as well. Uh, other things to work in are demos. Demos are always really beneficial, especially in today's meta. They're an easy way to stop the uh, team from... Uh, moving forward. God, I'm playing terrible. But no boost. No need to waste on the hundreds. Can take up the small boost pads. As I go and take the big one. That's dangerous. Wait for his touch. He misses. Trying to get out of the way. Get in front of it. Punch it out. In front of it. Good. Support him. He's still on it. I... No point in me being there. Back out. 
they're bumping each other. My hit was bad. Back out, go be defensive. It's usually almost always better to be defensive in uh, solo queue, just because you never know who's going to make a mistake or what's going to happen. It's always better to have someone covering a net. Obviously, there is circumstances, and, and Rocket League as a whole is situational to where there's times where you need to lead the charge and be kind of that catalyst that uh, that gives you that go-ahead goal. Um, and that varies in a lot of circumstances based upon like who you're playing. You know, if you've got two players who are super passive and you guys just can't find any offense, sometimes you have to be the person to be the one that brings you to that next level. So little things like that are things that you will get better at recognizing as you play the game more. And honestly, for some people, that's just not their strength and that's fine. And that's those are the or those are the people that usually will go and look for coaching. But would have been a goal. Boo! So the things I I recommend and things that I recommend you noticing is when I'm playing, I don't really focus on what my teammates do or the mistakes that my teammates made. The the one time where that guy almost shot it at our own target bumped into the teammate like almost own gold and stuff that could have been the difference maker but instead of getting upset frustrated or whatever it's just like you kind of just stay your stay your lane you know you try to support it and if it goes in it goes in like some of those things are out of your control so um ranked and unfortunately the way that it is set up right now is ranked is not really a place where you are trying to progress and that sounds really dumb and i agree that that's what it should be for but Ranked currently, in my opinion, is not set to be a place where you like actually focus on improving and ranking up because the system doesn't really benefit you from doing so. Like, Ranked's sole purpose, it feels, in, in the MMR system is to make sure you have close matches. Even if, even if you're playing really well and you're on a hot streak, its only job is to make sure that your next match is as close to as possible. So even though you may be winning, you know, 80% of your matches in whatever rank you are, you're still going to get minimal point gain and you're still going to play people. And then eventually the game will make your opponents actually tougher, which is really silly considering you're still whatever rank you are. So keep that in mind that it's just a numbers game. All you're trying to do is just win more than you lose. As simple as it sounds, that's all you're trying to accomplish. So focus on making minimal mistakes and uh, try not to tilt. Uh, my kind of rule of thumb is if you ever lose two games in a row, take a break, change playlist, do something placebo-wise to help you alleviate that mentality. It's uh, probably one of the best things I could say. Helps me a lot. Make sure that if I'm, you know, if I'm playing, I never lose more than like a division in a session. Oh my god! Get in front of that. All right, see. All right, so they're kind of playing weird. That's a goal for them. Yeah. I got removed from the game too much. A lot of those touches were backwards, and then you see this touch, and it's like he's hitting it and ends up centering it. So situations like that, like I was super far. If I was maybe rotating near instead of going greedy for the side boost, I could have been back post a little bit more. I haven't seen anything from these two players yet that like encourages me to be trusting, I guess. So because of that, I should probably be a little bit, like I said, more defensive. A little bit more aware of the situation so try to put a little bit more emphasis on getting to our half sooner especially in like our in our back post it's a good touch almost messed up the shot but good pass always recommend applying the uh a league of legends uh youtuber by the name of sky williams always says to use the dst method which is the uh, dick sucking technique for lack of a better phrase if any of your teammates do anything good suck that dick tell him great pass you know do whatever you gotta do to get him to feel confident about what's happening right encourage your teammates anytime your teammates do something good anytime they are you know hitting a good pass or you know they do something remote even if it's not that good even if it's just like you made a pass you should have made or what we assumed you're gonna make but it's still, you still, you know, get the team involved. Like, this guy's rotating near again, which is really weird. That should be a goal, though. Sick, they own gold. We take those. Like, normally I would be like, nice one. 
but it's just going to come off as BM if I say it, so. God, what's that double commit? Oof. We got away with that one. I should have never jumped. Oh, no. It's two bad touches in a row. One from me and then one from him. Me going up for this was a bad idea. Should have just rotated back to net and then him challenging it like that was also bad. I also don't know where our third player is. I have no idea where he is. So two mistakes leads to a goal. It'll happen. But like the difference is notice how I'm blaming or focusing on the things that I could do better. And like rather than being upset, like you never know what's going to happen in Rocket League. And all of a sudden we get a pinch goal from the kickoff and we, we're back up. So actually I, that wasn't even a pinch goal. It's just you decided to dodge the... Okay. Sometimes Rocket League doesn't really make sense, guys. That's why uh, ranked is kind of a weird place. Try to play that quick. They're both rotating same post for boost. Let him make his touch. I'm trying to get out of the way. Don't want to dunk my own teammate and rotate back net. All right, we won it, so now we can stay close. Can't challenge that. I'm third man. As third man, my whole purpose is to make sure that nobody gets behind me. Even if it means giving them the ability to get closer to our net. I'm not going to touch it. Same thing with this. Until I know I'm 100% certain that I will win it, I don't touch it. As much as it, it's you know possible that I could you know interject and, and apply pressure as the last man back, like I can't commit to that because you know who knows what's gonna happen. So another double commit, Jesus. Just trying to play it soft over the top. Don't want to give him the dunk. If I play that directly at him, he probably gets the save here, right? So by rolling away from it, soft touching goes past. So. Certain situations you just got to be aware of and like I said like Rocket League is not a game that translates from from others, so A lot of it when when it pros say like hey just play more What they're actually trying to say is like you need to find yourself in more circumstances so you know how to read them better which is Which is not a easy thing to tell somebody right like Like, quite honestly, like, I don't think anybody's playing too special. Like, this is supposed to be champ three, if I'm being brutally honest. Like, this gameplay is pretty trash. It's really slow. But, by literally doing... I'm not doing anything special. I'm not hitting any fancy shots. We're up 5-2, and they get a forfeit. So, things like this are easy ways to rank up. We're going to play a third game just to show you, like... It's that simple. All right, guys. Third game underway. We've got a full team, actually. I've played against that lower 90 guy, L90, before, and it was, or no, I've played with him, and it wasn't, it wasn't appealing. It was just, that's, I guess that's the way I'll say it. But uh, full teams, full teams usually have a, a little bit more to them, so we'll see what happens. That was a terrible hit. And by hit, I mean a whiff. That was a really bad touch. Oh, man. I'm trying to play a little bit too aggressive. So something I find myself doing is because I'm used to playing at a, at a higher level with, you know, pros or, you know, what have you. I want to play faster because I, I know that's the pace. I don't want to succumb to the, the problems I see in lower ranks. So the issue is, is, like, you need to find a way to find what works from each rank. Like, Rocket League isn't a one-size-fits-all, so... Just making sure you are aware that you may have to change your play style significantly in order to, you know, find out what best suits your situation of what you're playing against. Same thing applies to, you know, pro teams. Like, the same play style isn't going to work against every single team. You know, you gotta, you gotta mix it up, so... Things that help, though, is being able to make reads faster and get to the ball faster than the other team. Me going back in on that was probably a little risky. I had a teammate behind me. I probably could have went in, but hopefully uh, hopefully understands to read it and kind of let the person inside interject their situation. Ah, 
try to play it underneath. I knew, I'm pretty sure he had a, uh, another flip. Dang. All right, so let's see what this guy does. Bad touch. I just try to force it back inside. Take boost to rotate out. My teammate's rotating all the way back, so we'll, we'll support my first teammate while he's here. Rotate wide as third man. Get some boost so I can make a save if I need to. That might be in. Let's see if I can play this back mid. Oh my god. That's a feel side flip. Oh no. I can mana goal. Alright, let's see what my teammate does. Doesn't hit it. Not a big deal. We're in a position to make a save. Rotate downfield with him. Hopefully he goes for a bump. Even if he doesn't, not a big deal. We get a goal. Nice. So, not playing perfect by any means. Making a ton of stupid decisions. Even side flipping and stuff, but... As long as you don't make major mistakes, you know, like two mistakes on defense in a row or anything, you know, you can play just pretty simple and rank up. It's This is something that I've been doing for a very long time. I don't have any flashy mechanics. I can do them here and there. Not saying that I'm consistent with them, but you can, you can rank up pretty easily by just the little things. So this guy's asking if it's like the real me, quote unquote, which one, why would anybody want to personate me? Number two, we have a tag. Like I have a tag in game that like you can't, you can't make with uh, alpha console or whatever it's called. i try to get him. Probably should have let him have that backed out. Usually the safer approach is the better one, especially in these ranks. So it's not my touch. No matter how I touch that, it's going to go back towards my own net. So just rotate behind where the play originates and, uh, Go support. Allows me to be in position for this. And we get an easy clear. No pressure on us. We're good. I have no boost. No point in staying up field. Let my team I have no boost just so they know what to expect from me. I also got bumped off of that anyway. Alright, we're gonna go out of rotation to get some boost. Alright, we should be good now. Another goal. Nice. I will say I'm getting pretty lucky with some of these teammates, but uh, there we go, chat. I'm sorry I keep calling you guys chat. I stream way too much. I mean, might as well plug it while we're here, but twitch.tv forward slash Lawler. It's Sunday. We are putting this video out literally right before RLCS. So if you guys uh, if you guys are watching this video, by the time it's probably done, uh, I'll be ready to stream and show a viewing party for uh, the EU RLCS for week two. So hopefully we see you guys there. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's all about your mentality and staying positive and focusing on the right things. So... Um, guys, honestly, just keep your head down, play smart, don't make major mistakes or focus on making mistakes, and then critique yourself with the idea of play to get better, not with the intent to win, and honestly, you'll rank up pretty easily. But we'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, we see you at the viewing party. Twitch.tv forward slash Lawler all day today. Uh, Mouse versus Wreck is the last game of the day. It should be a good one. Peace.